Was everybody crypto muscle coming to you with another YouTube video? Here we are, international renown, worldwide. And here's the words at crypto muscle and crypto muscle network coming to you with another YouTube video. And here is another public service announcement. All right, of yours truly. All right, and bringing on the pressure to call the fall, the downfall of Hex and Pulse Chain and all that stuff. And then. I know what you're going to say. Well, Crypto Muscle, it's, it's a penny right now. Look, it's pumped. I always like, uh, you know, when that, when those things happen, right? And, um, you know, the, the external factors, right, that create a pump to happen. And you'll have all these people that don't say nothing when things are bad come out of the woodworks uh, when things are pumping, whatever, and be like, see, I told you so, see, I told you so, see, I told you, right? Out of nowhere, right? They all come in out of nowhere, and which is funny as hell to me. And I always say, and usually I usually refrain from making content. I just wait for it to just fall back down after this pump, right? Um, before I say anything, because, you know, because usually that's what happens, right? Usually some pump happens, and people will say their thing, oh, see, I told you so, and, and then it dies down, right? It goes right back down to where it was, and then those people just disappear again, right? And so, um, but the time of this video, I, I just don't have that time uh, to be able to just kind of wait for this pump to go down right now. So I'm just going to create it as such. And with that, though, um, it doesn't change my point of view or what truly I think is the inevitable that's going to come is that, you know, I've seen stuff like, oh man, Hex is like Bitcoin at the very beginning. And it's like, no, <laughs> then there's going to be never be anything like Bitcoin from the very beginning ever again. <laughs> How about that? Uh, so to put Hex uh, in, in that same room as Bitcoin, man, whew. Uh, that's that's really you know showing me one how brainwashed you are two uh you're really balls deep into richard hart's ass i mean really come on now and uh three get real all right so uh, this is what it is and so oh shit oh damn hex is a penny now oh my gosh you know um it's not like it's never been a penny before I've always said it'll never be at those all-time highs again. I've always said that. And it was fun to watch Hex being below a penny and below half a penny as well, you know, which is funny as hell. And will it get there again? Yeah. <laughs> see you next week. We'll see it again, all right? Uh, below a penny again, half a penny again. Yeah. See you next week. And uh, I'll be like, yes, yeah, so remember we talked about this last week, right? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that Hex is still useless and Pulse Chain is still garbage. All right. Does not change that fact. So all the nut huggers, all the Kool Aid drinkers are going to sit there and be saying things right now, right? Like they always do. Oh, see, I told you so. Oh, my gosh. And, and party, you know, party you know, till the, you know, for the night away and all that stuff. And then uh, when reality hits in the next couple of days, uh, when it goes back down to where it was once again, then uh, those people will just quiet back down and hide in their little corner like they always do when shit hits the fan, right? We got too many of those type of people. Uh, when shit hits the fan, they disappear. They don't say nothing, right? Like the Pacey's of the world and all that. Where's he been? I mean... <laughs> He was all about it, man. It was so, you know, one, he's garbage, but it was just funny. Uh, you know, he said it. He said it, man. Did you see that, guys? Richard Hart said it. <laughs> Shit like that. Oh, man. Uh, and all this other garbage out there, right? Uh, we got the Pulse Chain podcast, guys. You know, we're dedicated to Pulse Chain content. But shit, man, and you only could drone on about it. You know, for so long before it's just the same thing over and over again. Like at the time, like when's it going to launch? Now that it's launched, uh, what happened to that Pulse Shame podcast? Oh shit, Maddie's garbage anyways. Because the thing about him is that 
he's always been so full of shit that I knew that this whole Paul Shane podcast thing that he was trying to say he was going to do week weekly wasn't going to happen because, um, you know, of course you're going to be committed in the very beginning, of course. I mean, that's just how it is. But I knew that shit was going to fade quick. <laughs> and obviously that's what happened. It faded quick to the point that where he barely exists anymore <laughs> and as, as, as anything in this space. All right. So, you know, one by one, we pick them off every time, right? Pew, 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 right? We pick them off every time. And all these bloods fall off the wagon because they can't hang with the big boys, right? We've been, with the, you know, on the big boys train for a while, right? But all these bloods, you know, they, they can't hang with the big boys. And that's why they fall off each and every one of them. Where are they all at now? All right? They're gone in this space because they can't hang with the big boys. All right? And that's what it is. And I'm glad to see that that mess of those crypto heydays gone and out of here. All right? And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about them all. All right? The... The Maddies, the IL, Crypto, and, you know, what, PJ3s, and all those other fools out there, Bitsways, all them idiots out there, all right? And the list goes on and on. All, nearly, 100% of them are gone. Nearly, 100%. It's probably like 99% right now. And it's good, because we don't need them, all right? They, they were garbage, and they bring you shit like this. And in the end of it, nothing to show for. Because let's just look at it like this. You had to wait for two plus years to, to get something out of it. Out of this whole thing, all right? This whole operation. Because you went into Hex for something bigger, right? That was the whole idea, all right? Oh, man, there's going to be something more out of this, man. There's going to be a whole new network for crypto called Pulse Chain. And that's going to be bigger than the biggest thing in crypto ever. And right now, you're in the early stages of Hex. And Hex is going to be the next Bitcoin, right? So you got sold all that shit. And then look what happens, all right? The end result of it all is that you waited two plus years. You, you sacrificed whatever for some bullshit PLS token or coin, whatever you want to call it. You know, for these sacrifices. And remember, you sacrifice with no expectations. But you sacrificed. You waited two years plus, And what did you get out of that? A shitty chain, right? A shitty network. Because, I mean, when you look at it, right? When you look at this thing here. Where is it at? All right. You know, this, I like looking at this right here. Because it really, it's really telling about everything about it, right? It's only half an X, right? 0.55 X above sacrifice, <laughs> right? Uh, and I mean, that's a, that's a huge ass supply to you. 135 trillion supply. How, how are you really going to move that, you know? And PLS X, Pulse X, is 0.149 X from sacrifice. Come on. It's like, wow, Man, that's straight garbage. And so... You waited two plus years on this idea that this big thing is going to be coming and these tokens that's going to go along with it, with Pulse Chain, with the PLS and PLS, because those are the sacrifices, right? PLS, you sacrifice, PLSX, you sacrificed, right, to get them. And you went, you went, you went through all that to only get this. <laughs> this is what you got, all right? Uh, you have Pulse Chain that no one really cares about because you got sold on a dream and got given, <laughs> and you got got is what happened, and you were given you know, <laughs> subpar, you know, to me subpar uh, results, uh, and rushed and subpar results. I think Rich Art was desperate, and that's why he rushed out with this whole fork of ETH. You know, and it's like, come on, man. So all this time and all this waiting could have got something, you know, as good or even better than Binance Smart Chain as it was talked about. 
and all you can come up with is something that is just a little bit better than Ethereum and you forked off of that. So to me, that really just tells me, my man, you know, the blood's last rites <laughs> sold you on this bullshit because the last of those bloods are no longer in this space. They're gone, right? Now, I'm talking about these bloods from those days, right? They were really all about the token platforms and really thought that this was going to be the one finally, right? This is it. The Holy Land promise, man. We're going to take you to the promised land right here. Bam. This is it, right? So if I fell for this and I had to wait around two years plus and this is all I got, and I didn't do the other things I did in crypto over the last two years. Oh man, where would I be today? I was shit. <laughs> all I got to say is I wouldn't be where I'm at today. All right. In this position and benefiting of anything, I, I, I would still be in the shithole. All right. Of where I was back then. That got me in this mess in the first place. I was in a shithole. And I climbed out of it. Because I learned that token platforms wasn't going to be a thing. <laughs> All right, I learned that the hard way. And come to find out that this was the last. I guess you could say extension of that. right? Because Arbitraging, Moonberg. They were kind of like the last of those sort of platforms. And this was kind of like that epitome of that bygone era of a token platform, right? Because you're sold on these tokens, coins, token, doesn't matter what you want to call them. And you're sold on this promise of this network that's going to be the best of the best. And you got sold shit, just like those token platform days, you know? So what really has changed from this and those platforms of the past, right? The Nova Chains and Arbitrage, nothing. Because this shit is the same bullshit as it was back then but this is presently here whereas those platforms of those types died back in what 2019 all right this shit launched uh day 163 now and this is what is a result from that bygone era which is you got sold a bunch of shit again and I know that you guys are going to be hard pressed to believe that that's what happened, but that is what happened. All right. This is a relic of the platform past and you guys got got. All right. That's why it's 0.55 X from sacrifice and 0.149 X of sacrifice. All right. And you have a, a shit coin. That's a penny right now. Oh my gosh. You know, it's a penny. And you guys are celebrating, right? <laughs> and uh, all I gotta say is, phew, man, if I if I was hooked into this and just went along with it for the last two years and didn't do nothing else in crypto that I've been doing, right? Uh, phew, I I would not be where I'm at right now in terms of, let's just say, in terms of the crypto. Uh, I've created for myself and into my wallet, all right? Nowhere would I be close to where I'm at right now, all right? So all I got to say is, uh, phew, sucks to be a loser in this space. But, you, you know, I'm just calling it like it is. And you guys went into this hoping that you were going to get something good and you lost. <laughs> That's what it is. The reality of this is that you guys lost. You guys got got. You guys got had. And you, you lost. And that's it. This is, this is another L. All right. And I know you're saying, well, look, it's still running. Okay, that's fine. It's running. But it's nowhere near what you think it's going to be. And it's never will. It will never will. As long as Ethereum network is around, this will never be better than Ethereum. Man. Whew. I know. It, it just... Reality kicking in, just it just sucks, you know. But that's your latest here. I'll see you next one. Comment down below. I'll see you next one.